all the riders want to know what you've come up with. So fence six, quite different. Yeah, the ditch and well, it's like a ditch and wall, but uh, because the trunk is, is quite narrow, um, that's something that the horses don't s see too often. Um, but it's a galloping fence, and uh, I, I think uh, you know, the riders will enjoy uh, you know, moving on over this one. How does it relate to fence seven? Well, very much because um, where well, this is galloping, the next one they've very much got to be collected and under control. Well, I see what you mean about the different approach in terms of the canter. This is, this is basically a, an old-fashioned coffin, isn't it? It is, and it's a, a big hedge, so it's going to require quite a lot of commitment. And there's one stride down here, but I think horses tend to get sucked looking into the bottom of this, this ditch. So I think you'll see a lot of horses put in a little shuffle stride before hopping across. Mm. They never seem to take this ditch on horses, do they? They do tend to be quite cautious over it, and that will affect the sea element. Yeah, because there's a, a two-stride distance direct um, to the, the last hedge, but uh, that sort of invites the dreaded glance off to, to the right. I think you'll see um, quite a lot of riders straighten up a bit over the ditch and put an extra stride in, three strides, to take the risk out of the, out of the last discovery. Mm, and if they don't want to take this risk, then they've got the chest there, but that's going to be time consuming to go all the way around, jump the chest, round over the ditch and back out over there. What are we talking about in terms of time the long way? No risk, but about 15 seconds. Mark, we're now over halfway. Fence 16 and 17, the Rolex combination, and you gallop a long way to this, which is so narrow at the front. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, the horses have got pretty good at these triple brushes these days. Um, and it'll be all dressed up in Rolex colours, so it'll be green brush with yellow flowers in it. It'll, it'll look a little bit more attractive than it does now. A little uh, bit. But you've got to gallop at it. <laughs> you've got to gallop at it because you've given quite an attacking distance here. Yeah, you've got... Uh, Four strides to the to the corner. Uh, I think at this stage of the course, uh, the horses will make the distance quite quite easily. But uh, a corner over a ditch is never an easy fence. And, and that is big. It is, but because it's open and because of the ditch, I've actually come in with the back rail quite, quite a lot. So it's nowhere near 90 degrees, which what it, what it could be. So I've, I've tried to be kind. Oh, you? <laughs> God, I wouldn't like to see you when you're horrible. When you come into that first fence, it looks like that you're going to have to curve a little bit coming out but funnily enough as you walk through the combination the fence actually comes up to meet you it sort of opens up to you yeah and uh, i think all the way through you're on a little bit of a left curving line mm -hmm. and uh, i think the horses will pick it up and lock on because again you've got um, <coughs> another four strides to what you would say was a horrible triple brush <laughs> <laughs> and actually in fact having the corner set the way it is sort of it helps you a bit because you're going to jump the narrower part of the corner to curve back yeah but I still think this is probably technically the most difficult fence on the course. But you know, we've said that every year about the Rolex fence. And uh, somehow the horses seem to, up here, jump it real good. Yeah. You've given them an alternative, but if you're going to be competitive here at Burley, you have to tackle this straight way. I think so. I think uh, if you go the long way, it's such a long way around. I mean, maybe 20 seconds. At that point, you're participating and not competing. So to Fence 19, the Land Rover Dairy Farm, and these steps were in last year, and they really take some jumping. This is about power, isn't it? Yeah, actually we've reworked the steps. This is all uh, uh, brand new, but the question's very similar. And there are two big steps. Uh, you've come up hill from quite a long way, and you've got to have power when you get to the top, because the hedge that waits beyond is uh, one stride, but it's on a bit of an angle. And uh, if you get there, it's easy. If you leave a gap, then you're asking for the glance off. Yeah, you really have to come with some pace, but keep hold of the front, don't you? So you've bounced up to here, and it'll bring you to what about here. You don't want to land in a heap, do you? You don't. It's all about getting four feet up to the, onto the top step, and with a little bit of momentum, um, because you just don't want to leave a gap here, because um, uh, if you leave that gap, the glance off to the left is just waiting. And once again, you've encouraged riders that want to be competitive. They've got to take on the straight route because the long way, again, is a long way round. It is really a long way round. Um, they've got a hedge, three strides, another hedge, but then all the way round the, uh, the dairy farm <coughs> to a final hedge and then round those trees. Um, you know, you're talking yeah, 10, 15 seconds more.